What's up guys, Kwezi here bringing you guys another tutorial. This one is on making 2D banners like these. Um, what you're going to need for this, uh, if you are following along with the, t with the tutorial, uh, are my 2D pack, which is uh, my 9.5k pack, which you can uh, check out my recent videos for the uh, to find this. I'll probably have a link in the description. Um, also, what you're going to need is my form pack which um, is two dollars in my store you don't need this you could use some replacement um, or not use it at all uh, but I suggest you use it um, to get the best results like the tutorial and um, yeah so basically what we're gonna do is open up a blank document which this is not blank that is I don't know why that was like that but uh, you need a blank document um, and first off what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to my stock pack and we're gonna get a uh, stock of our choice. So let me just like look through these. Okay, I think I'm gonna stick with this pink one. So I'm gonna drag this on. And okay, what the heck? Try this again. Drag this on. I'm gonna put it on the bottom part here. Duplicate it. Bring it over. I'm not gonna have it overlap. Maybe if I just might look better. Nope, oh, never mind. Alright, uh, I'm gonna right click and, oh crap. I'm gonna right click on the top one and hit merge down. And then I'm gonna duplicate it. Control T, flip vertical. Put it at the top like that. And then I'm gonna do the same thing, right click, merge down. So there we go. Now I'm gonna create a quick little color correction. So I'm gonna go to a gradient map put it on hue and uh, I'm just going to double click on this and change the color of the black so I'm going to use like a green there we go and I'm going to go get some curves put them on there there we go and then I'm going to get some levels and I'm going to click these arrows and bring them in just a bit like there we go and then I'm gonna go above the stock form stock uh, layer like that one create a new layer gonna go to my brush gonna get one about 80 <coughs> about 80 bit uh, I'm gonna go bigger 96 let's see no uh, okay I'm going about 158 I'm gonna make sure it's on white and I'm just gonna click over some of these spots of the stock <clears throat> like this there we go I'm gonna set that to overlay so now some of the uh, stocks pop in certain places which looks pretty nice then I'm gonna go to the very bottom layer and now I'm gonna go to my uh, my 2d pack and I'm just gonna pick out some stocks I like so um, let me just find the good one alright this one right here it's called wallpaper with a bunch of numbers I'm gonna drag that on. I'm gonna make it fit. So Control T and adjust. So that looks pretty good, like that. There we go. I'm um, gonna go back to the 2D pack and uh, I'm gonna add some more stuff. I'm just gonna look at this. This is a pretty cool stock. Let's see how this looks. It's really big. Um, Making move this, make this a little smaller. All right, there we go. We got America and Europe in this. Bring it down. Maybe get some Canada. Oh, Canada's dark. Okay. Um, I'm gonna put this on a uh, lighten and see if that looks good. All right, that looks pretty good. And uh, let me see if I can double click this and make this green. So let's try color overlay. Uh, would lighten work? No, lighten would not work. Um, multiply. All right, there we go. Make that uh, green, and I'm just gonna lower the opacity. So it's there, but it's not very noticeable. But you can tell it's there. Um, I might discard that then, but it'll, it's fine for now. And I'm gonna go and uh, this part. You can basically just do your thing, uh, find things you like, add them. Um, I think I'm gonna stick with this and um, I have some stocks in my optic PSD which are not in the pack 
So I'm going to include this PSD of this optic background in the description for these several stocks. So this stock right here that I'm unchecking is the stock we just added. And here's another stock which has some numbers or letters off to the side. It's called like 111123. So I'm just going to add this one. And I haven't put that into a pack or anything yet. I accidentally deleted it because it was in a folder. And I, I deleted the folder. That was really stupid. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to add that. And I'm, it's on 12 opacity. Uh, might bring this up a bit. Yeah, all right. I'm leaving it at 16. And I'm going to go and I'm going to grab this other one. Um, I don't, don't believe this is anything. Yeah. I'm going to grab this one. It's the, uh, it has like the numbers coming down. It's called 43 with a bunch of numbers, whatever. Drag this on. And this will add some white numbers, so it mixes it up from the, uh, the green, adds some variation. And this is on 19% uh, opacity. Um, and now I'm going to go back and I'm going to grab the last one on the bottom, which is this uh, map looking one. Um, so add that. This just adds some color. Uh, you don't really see it, uh, or else it'd be pointless to have two maps because we have this map and then this one. Uh, points that have two, but this one kind of adds some more color. So there we go. That looks all right. And I'm just going to bring all these down below this one. And I'm going to lower the opacity of the first one we brought in from my 9.5k pack. And let's see what, what looks the best. All right, that looks fine. We'll just leave it at that. And um, now I'm going to go to this layer. Uh, where we added the overlay, and I'm just gonna erase some of the bits that uh, go over. What the? Oh, and I'm just gonna erase some of the bits that go over onto the banner and that are not on the stock. And okay, like this. And sorry, guys, I am uh, kind of sick with allergies or whatever, so my voice is kind of messed up, and like my throat's sore, so it, like hurts to talk a bit, but whatever. Um, so there we go. We got that. Um, this is like all the stocks that I really use um, Like for the behind part I, I add more later on, but now we're gonna go on to the text So I'm gonna get the text tool. I'm gonna make sure I'm on the top layer But under the color correction still and we'll just let this go All right, this should okay. There we go and I'm just gonna type in uh, uh, I'll just do derplet since I have to make him a background soon anyway just use his name for this um, so I'm gonna type in text I'm gonna make it bigger alright and you can use whatever font you want I'm not sure what font I'm gonna use that might be too big there we go that'll work center this There we are. Um, actually, you kind of dig this font, but I'm going to choose something else because this is too simple for me. Um, what does this look like? Not feeling it. Um, maybe I'll use Snub Fighter. That font used to be sick. If it lets me. Alright, Photoshop just froze, basically. Come on, come on, baby. Alright, let me pause it. Alright, so I'm just going to use this font, and it's called StarCraft. Um, I don't know if it's going to look the best on this, but I'm just going to go ahead and use it, because uh, I couldn't find a font I really liked. But yeah, alright, so I'm going to double click on the uh, layer of the text, and I'm going to go to Gradient, and I have this gradient pre-made um, from a pack, and it's just like this pink to a blue. You don't even need to use this really, you could just color it in and then add a white box over it on overlay but this is a lot faster and then I'm gonna put a drop shadow on um, I'm gonna make the distance zero increase the size to about 10 lower the opacity and I'm gonna go inner glow put that on overlay uh, leave it at that and that should be good hit OK there we go so we got some text and now I'm gonna just right click and rasterize the layer type um, it's going to change it up. It might distort the quality. So if you don't want to mess up the quality, you don't have to do this. Um, but this is just really fast and whatever. 
So then I'm going to select a box around half the text, and I'm going to Control C, Delete, Control V. So then I just deleted it and then recopied it so it's on a new layer. And I'm going to make this one gray. So I did Control U, and I'm going to bring the saturation all the way down. And I'm going to bring the lightness a bit up so it's a bit brighter. So like that. There we go. Then I'm going to right click and merge down so now it's all one. And now uh, you can add like sponsors and Twitter, uh, like social media and stuff underneath it. Um, but okay. Um, but uh, Derplet doesn't have Twitter. Doesn't really have any social media. But uh, I'll just throw in a Twitter just for uh, the looks. So I'll just do at Derplet, and I'm gonna use a clean font. So I'm gonna use Gotham because it's so clean Gotham medium and I want to go all caps actually there we go and I'm gonna go to my 2d pack again and I'm gonna go to icons social media Twitter drag that on line it up maybe make it a little smaller and I'm going to do the same thing I did with the text uh, on this. So I'm actually going to rasterize the derplet and then combine it with the Twitter logo. There we go. So same deal. Lower the opacity. Inner glow. Overlay. There we go. Right click, rasterize layer style and I'm just gonna select from the logo on over control C delete control V no saturation there we go line it up now perfect there we go um, maybe you gotta center this Ooh. all right there we go now I'm going to merge this one with the derplet text so now it's all in one and I'm just going to put this on a slight angle so I'm going to do control T and I'm going to bring this down and or I'm uh, I'm holding control and clicking the corners so control and bring these up and down I'm trying to keep it straight bring this one up like that there we go that looks pretty good uh, you could mess with that probably get a lot better um, might actually look better straight on but I'm just gonna leave it like this for now now um, we can start messing around and get even more creative with the text and things and I don't know if this is centered right now All right, bringing it over there we go um, so I'm gonna add some flares on the side here and then add some brushes as well but uh, I should probably add the brushes first so I'm gonna create a new layer go to my brush make sure I have white selected I'm gonna go find some I like. Uh, I know this one has a cool bar effect, so I'm gonna use this, and it's not coming up. I'm gonna click. There we go. Click down there. There we go. And I'm gonna put it on overlay, looking nice. And I'm gonna create another layer. Um, I, I forget where this one's. All oh, right, no, it's right next to it. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Click down. There we go put it on overlay actually you know you can't even see it on overlay keep it on normal lower the opacity if you feel like it there we go some nice looking stuff now I'm gonna go uh, below the derplet text and create a uh, new layer make sure I have my brush selected I'm gonna go to just a normal soft brush a thousand is fine for this I'm gonna click directly in the middle there we go and I'm gonna go overlay keep that there so now it's kind of brighter in the middle and if you guys want to know how to get these guides up real quick it's control H forgot to mention that um, so oh, there we go now I'm gonna go to the very top layer and I'm gonna go back to my pack and I'm gonna go to flares if it there we go and I'm just gonna pick out a straight ish flare I believe this is the one no this one, or this one I believe it's this one uh, quasi flare 5 and I'm gonna drag that on I'm just gonna have 
sides stick out like that. I'm gonna put it on lighten. There we go. So like, there's a side sticking out. Duplicate it. Uh, Control T, transform it, uh, flip it, put it over on the other side. Select them both. Bring down the opacity. There we go. Now, um, basically coming towards the end of this, and so anything from here, you can kind of just like go off by yourself do whatever you want um, I usually like to throw in some stuff at the top so I like to use these flames I have um, this folder called flames so I'm just gonna pick one of these out and I'm just gonna kinda include it in the bottom here like that so it kinda adds some to it but yeah that's basically the main part um, as you can see for these two there's now f there's more filters and things and this one I actually added like stripes and stuff but that's whatever um, but yeah so I'm gonna go and actually it's a little too bright in the background here so I'm gonna lower the opacity of this actually no not that um, is it this one that's making it no probably this one oh, there we go alright that's fine I'm actually gonna change the color real quick too I'm sick of green what the heck? Oh, duh. Click the wrong thing. Alright, gonna change the color real quick. Um, let's go blue. Yeah, it looks fine. Um, so now I'm gonna close the group because I put everything into a group. If uh, yours is not in a group, all you need to do is select everything like this and then do Control G and it'll put it in a group. But yeah, mine's already in a group. So I'm gonna close the group make sure everything's in there I'm gonna name it like derplet BG and I have caps lock on so that screwed everything up but whatever and then I'm gonna duplicate it with control J right click merge group so now this is just one thing and uh, now I'm gonna add some filters so I'm gonna duplicate this again I'm gonna go to filter blur Gaussian blur about two and I'm gonna erase most of it Keep some spots. That's not big enough brush. All right. There we go. I'm gonna right-click, merge it down, duplicate it again, filter, uh, pixelate, and fragment. And this is a cool filter. I'm gonna erase the text, kind of in the middle there. Keep it a bit on the sides because it looks sexy on the sides and on the stocks. So like, there we go. That's pretty cool. Erase a little there. Alright, and then I'm going to again right click, merge down, duplicate it again, filter, sharpen, sharpen more, and we're just going to adjust the opacity, bring it down close to 60. There we go, merge it together, there we go, we got a background, that's really simple. You can add more to the text, um, you can add a flare and stuff to like right here, um, underneath it and stuff. Um, not sure what I did here, I didn't add anything, I kind of had this there. It looks better if you have more like things like more um, uh, sponsors and social media things like this optic background I think looks really good um, but that's, that's the same uh, idea and if you want to change the color you can do a control U change the color um, orange looks pretty cool if I bring up the saturation it's a little too much there we go alright guys I hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, if you did drop a like um, more tutorials to come be sure to follow me on twitter all that good stuff and thank you guys for watching and peace